Hello everybody, hopefully you're all fantastic and welcome to Zero Tahira in Arabic course. In previous part, part one, we had some spoken terms like introducing and getting familiar with people. But in this part, part two, we're going to have some grammatical term, conjugation of past tense verbs and the root of verbs. And this topic is extremely important in Arabic. Then, without any further ado, let's get started. The first topic is a conjugation of verbs. Conjugation is a basis and a foundation of Arabic and it is extremely important. And the conjugation actually means that some changes that takes place in the verbs in order to express gender, tense, person and so on and also means what you do to a verb to make it fit in with other word with other words in a sentence but before we get into conjugation we need to know some points here Arabic verbs are made of root are made of root I mean three letters and suffix and prefix the root in Arabic is a literal meaning of the verb. For example, kitab, kitab. Kitab basically means wrote, wrote. Kitab then, kitab then is actually the root and the literal meaning of the verb, okay? Kitab. The second point is suffix in Arabic indicates gender and numbers of the subject. This is what suffix do in Arabic. Gender, male or female, and numbers of subject, plural or singular. And the prefix change the tense of verbs into present. It makes verbs into mudara, into present. This is what prefix do in Arabic. The next point is, in the past tense verbs, Formally, only suffix can be added to the root of verbs. We cannot add any prefix to the mali. We have to just add the suffix to the past tense verbs in Arabic. But in the present tense verbs, mudara, suffix and prefix both must be added to the verbs. But in mali, just suffix. As I said, conjugation of verbs basically means we do some changes in the verbs, we add some suffix and prefix to the roots of verbs in order to be correlated with the tense, person, and so on. Like femininity or masculinity or jama mudhikar or jama mu'annis, plural or singular. And we actually, we change the past tense to present tense with this conjugation, with this suffix and prefix. As we said, in order to conjugate the Arabic verbs, we need to add suffix and prefix to root of verb. But how we can find the root of verb in Arabic? The root of verb for past tense verb for fa'al is the third person singular. Huwa. For example, huwa kitab. Huwa libis because it's the simplest form of the verb and it's the base of other verbs and these are some example for third person singular that are roots of verb in Arabic that we can add suffix and prefix in order to conjugate these verbs and these are some examples for root of verbs kitab, kitab, kitab is actually the root and it basically means wrote he wrote. Huwa. Huwa kitab. He wrote. Libis. Libis. Huwa libis. He dressed. He dressed. It's a past tense. And guide. Guide means set. Huwa guide. Huwa guide. He set. And guide actually has a two different meanings. The first one is set. And the second meaning is walk up. For example, who guide meaning no. Who guide 
من النوم he woke up from sleeping okay guys first of all we have to learn the conjugating of a past tense verb in arabic فعل ماضي then we can go on for فعل مضارع present tense or future tense in arabic but the first of all we have to learn the فعل ماضي conjugating of a past tense verb and we have verb for writing and for writing the verb is كتب كتب هو كتب هو كتب now we know what the root of verb is we knew that the root is a كتب then we can add the suffix for this verb in order to conjugate them the first one is هو هو كتب we don't add any things because it's the root and the third person singular. Who wa kitib? He wrote. And the second one is he ye kitbet. He ye kitbet. We add at to this one. At. She wrote. She wrote. He ye kitbet. Whom me? Kitbau, هم كتبوا. We add au to this one. هم كتبوا. They, they wrote. They wrote. It's the it's for male. It's in a masculine. And the for feminine is هن كتبن. هن كتبن. We add an to this one. An. They wrote, they wrote. This is for female, it's feminine and plural. Hinne kitben. Inte kitabit. Inte kitabit. We add it to this one. Inte kitabit. You wrote, you wrote. It's a singular and masculine. But for feminine singular, we say inti. كتب تي انتي كتب تي we add t this to this one انتي كتب تي you wrote and for plural we say into كتب تو into كتب تو we add to to this one okay we understood that the root is كتب and only thing that I need to add is a suffix T or two or at. T kitab T or two kitab two. Okay. In ten kitab ten. In ten kitab ten. We add ten to this one. Ten. And it means you wrote, but this one is plural and for feminine. Plural and feminine. You wrote. Any kitabit. Any kitabit. I add it to this one. I wrote. And we wrote, we say, Ihne kitabne. Ihne kitabne. I add na to this one. And the second example for conjugating is seeing. In Arabic, the root of seeing is chef. Chef. As you see, who was chef? We don't add anything because it's it's the root, and it's the third person singular. But for he ye, we add at he ye chefet he ye chefet she so she so whom me chefau whom me chefau they so. They so it's the past tense in hinne shafen hinne shafen they so but this one is for feminine hinne shafen I add I added and to this one but there's exception here in lil mukhatib in lil mutakallim we have to delete alif between the two letter. If there is an alif in the middle of two letter like shafa, we have to delete them. As you know, makatib includes 
انت انت انتو ان انتن ان متكلم includes انا ان احنا انا ان احنا in these pronouns in these verbs we have to delete alif okay we have to delete them like in a shift انت شفت as you see I deleted them انت شفت I added it to this one انت شفت انت شفتي انت شفتي I added T to this one you so you so but this one is for female it's a feminine I delete the alif in all of them Alif is deleted, all of them. Into, shift to. Into, shift to. You, you so, you so. But this one is for plural and it's masculine. But for feminine plural, we say intin, shiftin, intin, shiftin. We add tan to this one. Intin, shiftin. You so. As we said, in mutakellim in lil mukhatib, alif must be deleted. Must be deleted. As you see, these are all mutakellim, and alif is deleted. Any shift. Any shift. I saw. I saw. Ehna shifne. Ehna shifne. I add na to this one. We sell. We sell. Okay, guys, now we know that the root in Arabic are made of three letters, which is third person singular, and the basis and the foundation of these verbs are huwa. Huwa. Huwa fatah. Huwa zar. Huwa shurab. He opened. He was a tet. He drank. He, these are all roots. And with knowing this, with knowing this, with we, we can conjugate other verbs, okay? With adding suffix and prefix. Fitah. Fitah means opened. Zar. Visited. He visited. Shrub. Shrub. Drank. He drank. Saq. Saq. He drove. He drove. Duras. Duras. He studied or studied. Jab. Jab. Brought. Brought. It's the past tense of bring. Bring. Brought. Jab. Kisser. Kisser. Broke. Chef. Chef. He saw. Kitab. Kitab. He wrote. Rah. Rah. He went. Ekil. Ekil, eight. It's it is the past tense of it. In par, par, flow. In hedges, hedges. He reserved. He reserved. These are all root of past tense verb in Arabic. Now, at the end of this lesson, we're gonna have three expressions, three useful and practical expressions, which are really common in dialects okay the first one is dirbal 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 plus attached pronouns and it basically means take care or be wary dirbalik dirbalik means take care but we say this for a male and it's singular dirbalik but for a female we say dirbalich take care and for plural for a group of people we say the dear is the imperative verb and for plural or feminine or masculine we have to do some changes for example dear balik nefsik Ale nifsik. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Dirbalic ale nifsic. Dirbalic ale nif. Take care of yourself, female. And for plural, 
ديروا بالكم على نفسكم ديروا بالكم على نفسكم You can either use this sentence for plural, for group of people, or you can use it in order to be more respectful. If you want to be more politely in your speech, you can use this one, plural one. And the next example, Dir balik ala ibnik. Dir balik ala ibnik. Take care of your son. Ibnik means your son and dribalic ala bintich dribalic ala bintich take care of your daughter daughter ibn as son and bint as daughter the second expression is aish min shaf aish min shaf plus our attached pronouns and it basically means nice to see you or a long time no see you or it's a it's been a time that I haven't seen you you can use this expression but it literally means long live Aish means long live men who chef who sell you Aish men chef for examples how when into Aish men chef how when into Aish min shafik. Where are you? Aish min shafik. It's been a long time. I haven't seen you. Aish min shafik. Where are you? Nice to see you. Hey, when anti? Aish min shafik. Where are you? But this one is for female. Hi, when anti? Where are you? Aish min shafik. Nice to meet you. Or long time no see you. Aish. Min shafich. And for plural, hey, when into? Hey, when into? Aish min shafkum. Aish min shafkum. Where are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. And the last expression is extremely important and one of the most common expression in Arabic. Al khatr plus attached pronouns. Al khatrak. الخاطري الخاطركم and it basically means because of you or because of him for example الخاطرك رحت البغداد الخاطرك رحت البغداد because of you I went to Baghdad because of you I went to Baghdad الخاطرك الكروة خمس تالاف الخاطرك الكروة خمسة آلاف. Because of you, the fare is the taxi fare is five thousand, five grand. الخاطر الله الخاطر الله جيب الكتاب. خاطر الله جيب الكتاب. Because of God bring the book. Because of God bring the book. الخاطرهم رحت للسوق. الخاطرهم رحت للسوق because of them I went to the market because of them I went to the market الخاطرهم means because of them رحت means went I went للسوق means to the market الخاطر حسين سامحك الخاطر حسين سامحك because of حسين I forgive you سامحك means I forgive you we have done with this lesson and hopefully you enjoyed it. In order to master to this lesson, these are some homework for you guys. Thank you for watching. Take care.